What's up guys, I'm Chiggs and you are watching Chiggs Tech Reviews. And today I've got my hands on a very unique Android TV box which has a HDMI input for split screen viewing and a built in 2.5 inch hard drive caddy so you can expand your storage. So this is the latest ProBox 2 AVA Android TV box. So ProBox 2 also have an awesome remote control called the Remote Plus. Um, it's an air mouse with a built in mic and we'll be checking that out in a bit too. So as usual we begin with a quick unboxing followed by a series of tests, testing 4K videos, HD streaming, gaming and finishing off with a benchmark and Wi-Fi test. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. The CPU is a Realtek 1295 quad core running at 1.5 GHz. The GPU is the Mali T820. You have 2 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi supporting AC, Bluetooth version 4, Android version 6 plus OpenWRT. This supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second, supports Dolby DTS 5.1 and 7.1. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with a user guide, a UK power adapter, a HDMI cable, a remote control and the TV box itself. So this is the latest ProBox 2 AVA. So here it is guys. The first thing I'm going to do is just connect the antenna. This is the Wi-Fi antenna. So on the top you have the shiny ProBox 2 logo with a nice matte finish. On the front you have a small LCD screen. Nothing on the sides. And on the back of the unit, we have a HDMI out, a HDMI in, network LAN, optical out, and your power socket. So if I quickly explain the HDMIs, you've got two HDMI ports. So one is the HDMI out. That is your normal HDMI port, which plugs directly into your television. HDMI in is the new feature. It's basically a HDMI recorder built into this box. So you can plug in your games console, your Blu-ray box, your Sky TV box, um, your smartphone or your tablet. Virtually any of those type of devices, you can plug it in. You can basically press a button and record everything that's happening on that device. Please do note though, you cannot record stuff from like copyrighted devices with HDCP protection like your PS3, PS4, Xbox 360. Those devices have a HDCP protection, so you can't record from those devices. But if you try your smartphone, your tablets, etc., um, it will record fine. So if we keep going, you will see a lovely USB 3 port for your high speed transfers and a USB 2 port and a full size SD card slot. OK, we're back to the front now. And if we look at the back, this is what the bottom of the unit looks like. So you've got all these vents, firmware update hole there. Looks like some sort of reset hole. So here is another awesome feature of this TV box. You've got a compartment here, you open it, and you can insert a SATA hard drive into this. So here's my 500 GB SATA hard drive. You can use 2.5 inch SATA hard drives, thickness 9.5 millimeters or even 7.5 millimeters. This supports SATA versions 1, 2 and 3. So here's my SATA hard drive. This is just a 500 GB hard drive and it's got some multimedia videos and movies on it. So if I plug that in, that's it. So that's installed. And if I just put the case back on. A very nice design and build quality by ProBox 2, as they usually do. Just to give you guys an idea of the size, I'm going to bring in the H96 Max side by side. On top, you can see. And as you can see, in thickness, they are the same. Uh, another box I like to briefly compare this to, just to give you guys an idea, because they do look similar, is the B-Link C1. So this is the new B-Link box that I reviewed the other day. Um, they do look very similar, so let's do a size comparison. So you can see all the ports there are the same, USB 3. The front is the same. The ProBox 2 is actually slightly bigger. If we keep going, it's the same on this side. And on the back, all the ports are the same. So it's slightly bigger because it has something extra. You've got a Wi-Fi antenna on the ProBox 2. So everything on these boxes are exactly the same. The specs, um, the ports, everything's the same apart from the ProBox 2 having this high gain Wi-Fi antenna. I'm expecting to see a better Wi-Fi connection from this model. I also need to quickly unbox the latest ProBox 2 Remote Plus. So this is ProBox 2's latest air mouse. It works via USB dongle and it also has a built-in mic on here. It feels great in the hands, it's nice and small. And if we compare both remotes, that's what it looks like. So yeah, I'll be checking this out too. 
So I'm going to get this all hooked up to my TV and capture card and we're going to find out how well this TV box performs. I'll be right back. Please note my capture card will not work with this TV box due to protections in the box and therefore I'm having to capture this the old school way pointing the camera directly at the TV. So just so you know the quality of this TV box is not bad it's just my camera. So this is the home screen for this new ProBox 2 Android TV box. All of these icons at the top are fixed shortcuts and um, the new one we need to look at is HDMI in this one here. So this is the HDMI recorder we'll be looking at those functions a bit later. So we have a task killer here, Google Play Store and a Media Center shortcut for Kodi. So at the bottom we have smaller icons which are completely customizable. So if you click on the plus sign and you can add and remove and select your favorite apps. And when you press back, they will all appear at the bottom. So first of all, let's go to settings and have a quick look at the system storage. So we have 16 gigs of internal storage on this TV box, out of which there is 8.3 gigs available to use. If we go to About, you will see that we are running Android version 6.0.1, which is Marshmallow. So at the top we have Home and a subheading for Apps. If we go to Apps, these are all the apps installed on the system. I have not installed anything yet, these are your standard apps. So you have quite a few apps to get you started, including YouTube, Netflix, Kodi and the Google Play Store. So the first thing we're going to be testing is Miracast. So if I open the Miracast app... And any second now we should see my Samsung screen mirrored. And there we go. You can see really nice fast. So as you guys just saw Miracast works great. Moving on now, the next test we're going to be doing is playing 4K and HD video samples from a USB drive. So I just plugged in my USB drive, I'm going to open up Media Browser and we're going to test out a few samples. So let's go ahead and play the first sample. So that's playing 4K and HD video samples from a USB drive and as you saw they played great. So while we're in here, let's have a look at the SATA drive that we installed in the, in the beginning of the video. So this actually plays all the video formats, it's got all the codecs you need built in. I've got access to my, all my video and media collection and it's simply plug and play. So let's now move on to the YouTube test. So before we begin the YouTube test I want to show you I have been using the Remote Plus Remote um, and I have to say it's fantastic, it works really well. Um, so if I just move the mouse around you can see it's an air mouse and it's very sensitive and very easy to use. It reminds me of the Nintendo Wii a lot. So I'm going to test out the voice function. So if we go to search 2017 latest trailers and there you go. I didn't have to press any button on this remote control. I just spoke straight into it and it recognized my voice nicely. Let's do another search. Despicable Me 3 trailer. So you can see how accurate that is. So let's get on with the YouTube test. So as you can see, the maximum resolution supported in YouTube is 1080p. I snuck him out of the lab to save his life. Oh, he's a smart one, isn't he? What are you gonna name him? Caesar. So that was YouTube. Let's move on now to the gaming test. So I've connected the H96 Max, okay, I've connected that directly into the HDMI in port. So let's go to HDMI in, you'll see that that's my H96 TV box. If I do a PIP, okay, now I'll grab my H96 remote, I'm going to actually open YouTube and then we're going to record what I'm watching. So you could be watching a live TV channel, you could be watching anything you like and you can record it. So a video is playing on my H96 Max right now and you can see it there. What I'm going to do is go to HDMI in and we're going to try and record that now. Let's change the output path. I want it to go straight onto my USB drive. There you go, click the options button, click select. So that's going to go to the root of my drive. So I want to click record now. Press OK to start recording and it's going to record it in TS format 1080p. 
there you go you can see the top right hand corner it says recording so now I'm effectively recording directly from the H96 Max so I can start PIP that's telling me it's recording in the top corner and I can still go ahead and do something else on my TV box so I can go and play a game or do what I want so I'm going to go back in the video full screen it and this is my H96 is recording right now if I stop the video you'll see the home screen for the H96 I hope that gives you a better idea of what HDMI in can do on the ProBox X2. Um, I... So here is a sample clip of what we recorded earlier through HDMI in. Um, you've got great 1080p quality video here and sound. I should have actually hid the bars at the bottom and that would have given a complete full screen. In the Wi-Fi speed test we got download speeds of 25.32 megabits per second and upload speeds of 9.10 megabits per second. I'm using a 40 meg broadband connection to run this test. In the Antutu benchmark test we got a total score of 35,820. So let's see how that compares to the others. This is my top benchmark performance chart where you can compare the specs, performance and prices of all the TV box I have reviewed to date. I made this chart as a guide to help you choose the best TV box that matches your budget. So this chart has been updated, I've added more info such as CPU and hard drive caddy and also I combined the chart to give you one universal top 50. So as you can see the ProBox 2 AVA has achieved position 30 with a benchmark score of 35,820. It will be interesting to see which TV box I review next and what overall score it will achieve. I'm still waiting for something to challenge the Nvidia Shield and hopefully that's coming soon. So there you have it guys, that was the ProBox 2 AVA Android TV box. This is a brand new TV box that's just been released recently and it has the new 1295 quad-core CPU by Realtek. This is actually a great all-round TV box with plenty of storage and DDR4 RAM which keeps everything running fast and smooth. Overall performance for gaming, 4K movies and streaming online was great and I experienced no lag or issues whilst testing this box. And I love the fact that you can add your own 2.5 inch SATA hard drive filled with your own movie collection and all movie formats are automatically recognized and plays very well. The HDMI in recorder is basically a capture card allowing you to connect various devices and record footage with sound. I would love to see a TV box with HDMI in and an octa-core S912 CPU. Now that would pack a punch. Bottom line, for the price you're getting a great all-round performing TV box with some great unique features not found in other boxes. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.